In this episode, we're going to learn about addressable LEDs. Driving a single RGB LED won't be a problem for a microcontroller or for an RGB LED driver. But how about if we're going to drive multiple RGB LEDs and we want to control them individually? This problem can be addressed with the help of addressable LEDs. Most of them integrate the control circuit and RGB chip, which allows addressable LEDs to be controlled individually with just one or two microcontroller pins. The ability to control them individually using a single wire protocol makes them ideal for applications such as full color display modules, LED decorative lighting, and indoor and outdoor LED video screens. Addressable LEDs have data input and output pins which can be used to cascade multiple LEDs. The data is sent to all the LEDs with just a single data line. With this principle, the LEDs can be easily cascaded to create different form factors like a strip, a ring, a matrix, and more. To show how an addressable LED works, I have an 8x8 RGB LED matrix from Adafruit, which is made up of 64 NeoPixels. NeoPixel is Adafruit's brand for individually addressable LEDs that are based on WS2812, WS2811, and SK6812 LED drivers. In this example, we're going to use the Adafruit Metro to control the Adafruit NeoPixel 8x8 matrix. Actually, we have two of these matrix connected in a daisy chain fashion. The data input of the matrix is connected to digital pin 6 of the Adafruit Metro through a 470 ohm series resistor. To power up the matrix, we're going to use a 5 volt power supply that is capable of supplying 2 amps of current. Since each matrix has 64 LEDs on board, it will require a decent amount of current, and there is a 1000 microfarad capacitor connected across the power leads of the matrix to buffer changes in the current draw. Controlling addressable LEDs from scratch is quite a challenge. The good news is that Adafruit provided libraries that we could easily use to evaluate the NeoPixel 8x8 matrix. In this demo, we are going to use the strand test sketch from the Adafruit NeoPixel library. The code in the strand test sketch consists of functions such as color wipe, theater chase, rainbow, rainbow cycle, and theater chase rainbow. Now, let's upload the code and see what each function displays on the matrix. So here's the code, and as you can see, if I scroll down a little bit farther, here's the, the color wipe, the theater chase, the rainbow, rainbow cycle, and theater chase rainbow. So those are the different programs or functions that will run on this board. As you can see, I'll scroll down to the bottom. The code isn't too long, um, so it should be pretty easy to modify if you want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the code. And here we see the matrix is now turned on. So what we're looking at now is the color wipe. Uh, we just saw the red, the green, and now the blue. And this is theater chase white, red, and blue. And then the rainbow. And this is the rainbow cycle. It's a, it's a little different than the rainbow, um, but they're both pretty similar. And then the last one is the theater chase rainbow. As you can see, the wide range of effects you can produce, all the while using only the most minimal of hardware setups and IL pins, there are a lot of applications for addressable LEDs, and you can always experiment by using devices like the Adafruit Metro and the Adafruit NeoPixel. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.